Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Digital Flash Fire. This is Dan. We are on the Solomon Islands map. Uh, my first salvo I wasted by firing HE at a battleship. It's kind of stupid. I'm in the tier 6 Fuso. This is a wonderful battleship. I'm actually enjoying this more than I enjoyed the Congo. The Congo is a fantastic ship. But in a lot of ways, its biggest strengths keep it from being terribly effective. It has magnificent range, but due to the travel time, you're not going to hit very much. So you tend to end up way in the back, and then when you try to charge forward, your speed tends to carry you too far. The Fuso moderates these. It gives you more armor, it gives you more hit points, it gives you more guns, and you lose a little bit of that range and a little bit of uh, the speed. Which I'm happy with that trade-off. Uh, you'll see here, I'm just punishing this Miyogi early. He is got to be wondering what he did wrong. Now, this is not a terribly fast map. I joke that this is the Summoner's Rift map. Uh, for those of you that play League of Legends, you'll you'll probably see the humor there. If not, well, I'm sorry. The strength of this ship, I mean, you can see I've got six guns and I'm just pounding the, uh, the Miyogi here, who's doing a pretty good job getting out of the way. Uh, the Miyogi is a, a battle cruiser type design. It's fast, it's lightly armored, um, and it's, it's got good guns that aim aft so he could be shooting at me, but he's shooting at something else. And he's using HE, so, oh well. And I don't generally shoot at people once they start rail sliding. It just, you're not going to hit them very hard. <laughs> so I'm looking for other targets. But most of the enemy team has gone way the hell away from me. So I get to shoot at rail sliders. Not that I really blame him. His team pretty much abandoned him. I've got a South Carolina supporting me, but having a South Carolina supporting you is kind of like trying to win a relay race with an elephant on your team. They are very slow. They are very uh, rough. I don't know what those torpedoes were fired at, but you can see this guy's just getting harried to death by some smaller ships. Now, I finally have something else to shoot at, and I'm turning my guns to bear on this mass of cruisers, the Phoenix, the Cleveland, the Marblehead, the Furutak. I mean, there is a plethora of choices. Now, I am having some issues. You can see, absolutely beautiful. Very hard to, to see my, my range ticks and where exactly the shots are landing. I don't know if that's intended, but if it is, it really favors the, uh, the north side in this. That's a... Uh, Oof. <laughs> I was really battling this in-game. Now you'll notice the other team has a lot of ships that don't seem to be moving. <laughs> um, they they aren't. They're, they're sitting stationary, and that's not the best choice in this game. I'm going to speed things up because even though I'm going to be taking some shots, not doing a whole lot right now. The, uh, I've got my plane out, and you can see people aren't moving at all. So, I've got a fair chance at a hit, but not doing a whole lot. Long-range accuracy in battleships is still suboptimal, which just means we'll have to get closer. And my plane comes back to land. I also have trouble aiming with that stupid plane screen. I realize it should be easier. Um, there are some real advantages to it. I'm just not good at it. And back to normal time. And... Waiting for him to give me a little bit more of his broadside. Not quite enough. But it is a Furutaka. Oof. And he got a shower. That's it. Also, the 28-second reload time on this ship is just... I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but it's glorious. It really, really is wonderful. 
and I'm keeping my armor angled. He has eight inches, and I don't have fantastic armor. The Japanese battleships just don't get amazing armor at this level. And we get a couple of, we get a hit. That Furutaka is being driven by a really smart guy. He's not letting me just hammer him. Our Phoenix is charging in. He has torpedoes coming at him. He fires some torpedoes. And they trade off. Hey, trading a damaged Phoenix for a uh, full strength, or nearly full strength Furutaka, I'll take that. And here's a Cleveland backing up like good pilots or good ship drivers do. Got some good solid hits on him, but we've got a New Mexico and a Miyogi coming around. And I need to uh I need to do something about that because that is, as I like to say, suboptimal. I'm gonna looks like I'm gonna take one more shot on the Cleveland. Yeah. He's still backing up. Now, this is not a really good shot. <laughs> Angle's just too steep. Three hits, 3,000 damage. It'd take almost two minutes to sink him at that rate. Oh, he noticed me. And he immediately hits me hard. Now, you'll notice the South Carolina's coming in, but again, South Carolinas are not fast. They're not agile. And that's a New Mexico. <laughs> I wouldn't be too eager to catch him either. We get a good salvo. Looks good. Yeah, that, that shaved a lot of hit points off of him. That'll change his mind about a lot of things. And now I'm turning into him. Now this is something that he really should have been doing was turning into me because he has triple gun turrets. He can put six guns on me aiming straight at me. And if I'm aiming straight at him, I can only get two. But he's giving me his broadside, and he's letting me angle just enough to fire my full salvo and get back. And get back. There we go. And he misses. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Cleveland and the Miyogi are coming around. I take... He gets a good hit on me and now he's finally doing what he should have been doing and the south carolina back there is struggling <laughs> because that's that's pretty much what south carolinas do there isn't a lot he can do about it and you'll see he's trying to get his guns around those turrets are not the fastest and here comes the miyogi and here comes the cleveland backing up again So I am, the South Carolina is contributing, but he's not contributing a lot because of his angle and his speed. I'm in a three on one, basically. <laughs> they are gunning for me. And I'm only getting my shots pretty much into his nose. You'll notice the, uh, the improved accuracy of battleships at close range that they finally promised us. Yeah, it's working. <laughs> Of course, I hit his armor pretty much head on, so I did a thousand damage on eleven hits. But no, oh, you can't have everything. Now I'm turning to give him my stern because it's got armor, and I know he's probably getting close to reloaded. He's at six thousand health. I'm at thirty-seven thousand. That's <laughs> things have gone pretty well for me. Set him on fire. Of course, he's healing himself, which sucks. He puts a big shot into me. And I finish him off with a bunch of, bunch of hits. And I've got four guns still loaded. So we're going to turn. And there's that Miyogi. And here we go. Lining up on him. One, two, three, four. Boom. Shatter him. Guns reloading in about ten more seconds. And there's that Cleveland. And shots out. Half two guns. Boom. Got it. Three kills in a matter of a minute. Probably in a matter of 30 seconds. The rest of this match, I try to chase a destroyer, and you know what happens when battleships chase a destroyer. I get blown apart. Um, 72 hits. Only one Citadel. Sank four ships. 
did a bunch of crits, mostly knocking out turrets. Uh, shot down a couple of planes. There were just scout planes. There weren't any carriers out here. Uh, team scores, we've got... I came in second. We had that, that Phoenix that one-shot the Furutaka. Yeah, he, he, got, uh, he got the high score. Uh, as far as damage, I did 95, almost 96,000 damage. Sank a Cleveland, a Phoenix, a New Mexico, and a Miyogi. That's... That's a pretty solid one, and I think you'll agree that running into those three ships and just going one, two, three on them, that was a lot of fun. All right, folks, for Digital Flash Fire, this is Dan. Have a good day.